Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yesha, if you're new here, and today I wanted to give you my advice for studying during residency. So I've already made videos, or maybe they're coming after this. I think they're actually going to come after this, but I, I made a video about how I have studied during my residency, but this video is going to be all about advice for studying in residency, because it's not like studying in medical school. You don't have the whole day to study. You don't have only like four hours of classes or recorded classes or anything. Like You have to go to work. And the hours may not be amazing, you might be tired when you get home, and so studying in residency is just kind of a different beast. And I just wanted to give you my advice on how to do the most with that amount of time, a smaller amount of time than you might be used to, and with kind of more general fatigue. So yeah, if this is something that would be helpful to you, keep watching the video. Oh, and at the very end I'll give you the best advice that I ever heard about studying and that really helped me a lot. So yeah, stay tuned. The first thing I want to say is just pick one or two resources from the get-go. Don't try to go through like a ton of resources during your residency. You're going to hear people be like, oh, I've already done, I've already read Core Radiology three or four times, I've already read Brent Helms as an intern, whatever. Okay, don't let other people kind of scare you into thinking you need to do what they are doing. You definitely just need to think about your own track and like think about your study methods and what you want to study. So for example, there are people that like books with a lot of pictures and in radiology that's really important. Then there are people that like the first aid style of books or people that like more words. So think about what you like. I suggest in radiology that you want books with lots of pictures. And so for that reason, I always recommend the requisite series because they have tons of pictures and less words because that's my personal learning style. But figure out what works for you. I'm sure that there are PDFs floating around. You might be able to buy it online. You might have co-residents that also have like the actual books or in your library. Just flip through them, kind of see like what really, what would engage you the most and stick with that book or that like series of books because that'll make studying a lot easier. So that's my advice is just stick to a couple of resources. For me personally, I used core radiology supplemented with the requisite series for each specific subspecialty. You can either use one book, you can use more books, whatever you want, but don't get bogged down with the resources because there's a lot of radiology books out there and everyone has their favorite. So just go out there and kind of find what you like and just stick with that because they will all ultimately have kind of the same knowledge just presented in different ways. My second piece of advice is to read as many studies as possible while you're at work because this is really what's going to give you a solid knowledge base at the end of the day. And that might mean that you're more tired at home, but honestly in my mind, that's justified. If you worked really hard during the day, you're going to get more out of the cases and you're going to get more learning from your attendings as well. So try to be as involved as possible at work because that will pay off once you're like a third and fourth year too. And that speed is really essential as you start to think about where you want to work eventually. So just remember that you're there to be a doctor. Learning the knowledge is one thing. Practicing as a radiologist is kind of another. And reading a lot of studies helps you with both. As far as question banks go, I would say start doing question banks maybe in your second year. Again, everyone is different and everyone wants to get started right away. As soon as you start doing question banks, you're going to realize that as a new first year, you may not have that knowledge base yet, but if you're a second year who's watching this or a third year, now might be a good time to start going through those questions and just kind of make a goal for yourself how many you want to do per day. And that you'll start to realize how long that takes you um, or you know, maybe you want to do all the neuro questions in one in a week or something. So just to divvy them up and really try to stick to it. And it can be really hard when you're tired coming home from work and you don't want to do that, but sometimes it, you just have to stick it out and do it. But really, I would say only put that pressure on yourself if you're a third year and you're kind of leading up to core. Otherwise, do what you can do, spend time with your family, it's, it's okay. The questions will still be there tomorrow for you to do, so it's fine. If you're really tired at the end of the day and you really don't want to study, I try to like just say, you know, do the Pomodoro method and do 25 minutes. You'll probably still learn something even in that much time. And I think all of us can try to carve out 25 minutes, whether it's in the morning before work or after work. But honestly, it's all about consistency. It's really not about like how much you read in one day, but really how much you're going to learn over time. And so even just small chunks of time when you have it, I think that's really important to try to get something in. 
And if you are like kind of getting into third year and you're starting to think about four, starting with just 25 minutes, maybe start with one Pomodoro and then see if you can do two Pomodoros at 50 minutes of studying every day. I think you'll really start to realize that that's enough for you to start to get a little bit of knowledge under your belt. Now, for the favorite piece of advice that I ever heard from my attending, and it's like the thing I tell everyone, is even if you don't feel like reading, which is me 100% of the time, I never feel like reading, look at the pictures. So when you get home and you don't wanna do anything, just open the book to the first page and just look at the pictures. Do you recognize it? If you don't, just read the caption. Okay, what is this? Okay, they're showing me blah, blah, blah. So flip the pages, look at the, look at the, not the questions, look at the pictures. And do that for the whole book. Because before you know it, you're gonna be sitting there like reading a freaking paragraph and you're gonna be like, whoa, I actually read something. So that's my one favorite piece of advice that anyone, that someone gave me. And I think it's the best piece of advice for any radiology resident. The images are what you need to learn. The images are what you need to focus on. And so even if you don't want to read, it doesn't matter. Just open the book, as tired as you are, and just flip through it and look through the pictures because you'll get some curiosity and you'll start to read a little bit more. And at least you'll come away with something that you didn't know before you start reading. So that's like the best piece of advice I can give you. Obviously, if you're a third year, you really need to start studying more than that. But it's a good place to start for any resident. And I think that would probably go for a lot of different specialties, like just open the book and just kind of flip through and see if anything catches your eye and start reading and it'll, you'll get something out of it. So hopefully this was helpful. It really it probably wasn't helpful at all. I just said like stuff that you already knew, but I mean, studying in residency is hard. It really sucks. And we're kind of lucky in radiology where we have somewhat predictable hours and we have a lot of weekends to study. So try to spend a little bit of that time reading something and you'll end up in a pretty good place, you know, as you enter your third year and start to think about core, you'll be in a good place. So yeah, that's my advice for studying in residency. I mean, it, it sucks and I honestly don't have any advice for being tired. I think you just have to push through sometimes, but some things make it easier, like good coffee and looking at images. So hopefully that was helpful and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.